Hey up everyone, welcome to the video. We hope you're all well and you're looking after yourself. It's currently 10 to 8 in England at the moment. Another hot day, totally mafting, absolutely boiling outside, about 20 degrees. So as you can see I'm in my singlet again. It's dead hot at the moment. But tonight's video is going to be me round 3 NRL tips. So the season kicks off tomorrow night. Tomorrow morning, my time, and I'm just going to give you the tips for all the games. I was doing the tips before the season was cancelled because of the coronavirus, and now I'm going to be resuming them again. I did pretty well in the first two rounds, I think I got 5 out of 7 for both. So, without further ado, let's get into the tips. So, the first game to kick off the new season you could see is Brisbane against my club Parramatta. It's played at Suncorp Stadium and I'm going to give you the UK times for these kickoffs. So it's kicking off at 10 to 11 tomorrow morning. So I won't get to watch this game because I'll be at work and I'm not allowed on my phone. So if someone could maybe send me play-by-play -play analysis or score updates, that would be smashing. With this game, um, I'm a bit worried about this game because of the way that Parramatta won last year and how some of the fans and the media carried on. Um, this I think this game can either turn out to be a blowout or it could turn out to be a very close match. Um, but I'm predicting Brisbane to win this game. I think they're going to probably win maybe 1-12. to 12. Um, But as I said, it could turn out to be a blowout because I know Brisbane, their players, their, set, their fans, their club were absolutely fuming with the way that we won last year. And they'll be looking for revenge and... Generally, in those type of circumstances, the other team comes out and gives it just as good as they got the last time that they played each other. The second game is North Queensland against the Gold Coast. And this kicks off at 9 o'clock in the morning, my time. And it's going to be played at the new stadium in Townsville. Now, when the draw was announced, I bet you North Queensland looked at it and went, have all our Christmases and birthdays come at once? We're playing the Gold Coast in the first match. How are you getting, man? Um, I think North Queensland will be absolutely licking their chops over this. They'll be jumping up and down in sheer delight that they're playing against the Gold Coast. I don't hold much hope out for the Gold Coast in this game. I think North Queensland's going to win 9+. Plus. And if by some miracle Gold Coast win, I can guarantee you that there'll be police and ambulances around at Nick from Australia's place because... Someone's going to get hit or he's going to punch a hole in the wall and in the wall or he's going to do summit. The next game on Friday night is kicking off at 5 to 11 my time and it's between South, uh, South Sydney and Eastern Suburbs, also known as the Sydney Roosters. And it's going to be played at neutral territory, so Bankwest Stadium, the new Western Sydney Stadium. Um, so in the last couple of weeks, South Sydney has been absolutely hammered by the media, Latrell Mitchell's Got a, a lot of it, Cody Walker. The club's under a bit of pressure at the moment. Series Eastern Suburbs, they're 0 and 2. So both clubs are under pressure to really win this game. And the fact that it's arch rival time, it's going to magnify that. Um, I think the, the pressure's more on Eastern Suburbs because they don't want to be the defending premiers and be 0 and 3. Um, I'm going to actually go for the upset here. And I'm, I'm going to tip South Sydney to win this match because. Throughout the years when I've been watching Rugby League, whenever a team gets hammered in the media and constantly bagged and that by the journalists and all that, they just go out and they win and it shuts everyone up. And I think this might be the case with this game. And the fact that it's a, it's a rivalry, it's a, it's an arch rival match, it's a, it's a derby. Um, form goes out the windows with derbies. A whole different thing takes over. So I think um, South Sydney is going to win this game. I think it's going to be a very close match, but I'm going to... Tip South to win. On Saturday, the first game is between New Zealand against St George, the Big Red V, 11 in a row, never before, never again. And it's going to be played at the Central Coast Stadium, the stadium which North Sydney built. So, with this uh, season and the fact that it nearly got called off, if I was a New Zealand fan, I would have been praying that it would have got called off. I know it might sound horrible, but in 2018, I wish the coronavirus happened then, so the season would get cancelled and we wouldn't have come last, we meaning Parramatta. Um, because 
the way that New Zealand's played the first two games this year and the way that they've done the pre-season and all that, I think that they're in a whale of trouble. And I think it would have been better if the season got cancelled for their sake so they had a whole year to regroup and train and get things get things sorted and then come back for 2021 but unfortunately for New Zealand they have to play out this season and um, I think they're wooden spoon candidates with the goal course it's just a, a matter of who's going to taste the wood and who's not and um, St George is not that much better but I think that uh, in the best of a bad bunch St George is going to win this match probably 1 to 12 points so I'm going to go with St George the next match is Cronulla Sutherland against West Tigers. And this game's going to be played at neutral territory, Western Sydney Stadium. Um, Cronulla, an, another club that's been absolutely hammered in the media once again, right on the eve of the season kicking off, Bronson Jerry. Um, looking at what I've read, he's in a whale of trouble. He's in deep shite in. Um, I think he's going to get that four-year ban. Um, I'm going to go West Tigers in this match. Cronulla haven't had a great start of the year. Josh Morris has walked out in the club to go to East. And with Bronch and Jerry out and a few other injuries, I think West Tigers are going to get the job done over Cronulla. Now, the next game is what a lot of people have been describing as the game of the round. It kicks off at 35 past 10 in, in the morning on the Saturday. Um, I'll probably listen to this game on the radio, even though it's involved in Melbourne. And you all know we feelings on them. Um, Canberra's beaten Melbourne the last two times down in Melbourne. But I think on this occasion, I think Melbourne's going to get up for this match. I think they're going to win 1-12. to It's going to be a tight game, but I think Melbourne's going to win. And don't be surprised if it's by a late penalty goal by Cameron Smith. Then on the Sunday, the first match kicks off at 5 past 7 in the morning my time. So I'll probably be asleep for this one. It's between Penrith, the Licorice All Sorts and Newcastle. And it's being played at Campbelltown Sports Stadium. So Penrith have had a pretty good start of the year. So have Newcastle. Penrith's missing some players for this match. Um, Newcastle's also missing some players. But I think I, I can see Newcastle winning three in a row to start the year. So I'm going to pick Newcastle for that game. And the final game to close off round three is Manly Moringa against Canterbury Bankstown. And that's being played at the Central Coast Stadium. Um, Canterbury, the first two games of the year, they haven't looked great. I didn't predict much of them at the start of the year. If you watch me uh, NRL 2020 prediction video, um, I think defence isn't a problem for them. It's the attack. They're a boring side. Where's the points coming from? Some people used to call them the dogs of war. I call them the dogs of bar. Um, with Manly Moringa, I think that they have looked quite good in the first two matches. They did play very, very well against Eastern Suburbs before the season was called off um, momentarily. I'm going to go Manly to win this game 13+. plus. I think that they're going to really put on a show against Canterbury. And uh, I think Manly's going to start the year 2-1. and one. So that's me round three NRL 2020 tips. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know let me know your tips in the comment section below. If you're enjoying the content that I'm making, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you get a new email. And if you've got a spare moment or you're browsing on Facebook or Instagram, go check out me Ruby League History pages. I'll put a link in the description below for those. So I'll catch you all later everyone and I know some of you have been waiting quite a while for the season to kick off again so I hope you all enjoy the first match and uh, it's good to have the season back so I'll catch you all later. Tatty bye.